Hi, welcome back to Alice Kitchen. Today I will share my second Korean radish kimchi recipe called kakdugi in Korean. First, you will need two medium-sized Korean radishes. Peel the radishes. Then, cut them into half-inch cubes. You need about 4 pounds total. Put the radish in a large mixing bowl and pour 6 cups of hot water on it. This helps the radish absorb the kimchi paste better later. Set it aside for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make the sweet rice flour paste for the kimchi paste. Mix 3 fourth cup of water and 3 tablespoons of sweet rice flour in a small pot. Keep stirring it until the sweet rice flour is completely mixed into the water. Cook for about 2 minutes on medium-high or until it starts bubbling and thickens. Turn off the heat and let it cool down. This paste is important because it helps the fermentation process. 20 minutes later, drain the water for the radish. The radish will be a little warm. Put the radish back into the same large bowl and mix it with about 1 third cup of coarse sea salt. Set it aside for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you will see that the salt is throwing water out of the radish. Quickly rinse the radish once in cold water. Don't rinse it too much or you will lose too much of the salt. Drain out the water. Add quarter cup of hot pepper powder to the radish and mix it. This gives the radish good color and flavor. The radish preparation is done. So let's make the delicious kimchi paste. These are the secret ingredients that I'm going to blend next for the kimchi paste. This is salted shrimp. When you use it for this recipe, please make sure that you only use the shrimp pieces but not the salty liquid from it because the liquid can make your kimchi too salty. This is a Korean yogurt. You can also use American yogurt drink. We will also need 6 cloves of garlic, 1 piece of ginger the size of a garlic clove, and half cup worth each of an onion and an Asian pear. Chop the onion and the Asian pear into chunks. If you cannot find an Asian pear, you can also use a sweet apple. You can also cut one generous cup worth of green onions into half inch pieces. We will use the green onions later. Put all the secret ingredients that I just mentioned in a blender. Blend them for a minute or until everything becomes a nice and smooth paste. In a large mixing bowl, add sweet rice flour, blended mixture, half cup of hot pepper powder, one tablespoon of sugar, and one and a half tablespoon of fish sauce. Mix everything together. Add the radish, and the chopped green onions into the kimchi paste. Mix all together. Put the radish kimchi in a kimchi container and let it sit at room temperature for a day. Then put it in the refrigerator. Depending on the weather and your refrigerator's temperature, the fermentation time varies. It took about 3 weeks for mine to be ready to eat. For the final touch, sprinkle 1 tablespoon of sesame seed on top and mix everything gently one more time. If you liked this kakdugi video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.